All right, guys, we're back out at the XY. It's an absolute beauty. We just got that um, shifter adjusted after that video, last video that we've made that I've edited. We had a little bit of an issue with the starter motor here, guys. Something a lot of people forget. When you're going to a manual, you'll need one of these spacers. When we put the spacer on, it didn't sit flush. So we just had to take a little bit off of those two spines there, off this particular brand, just so that that clicks on perfectly like so. Also with the with the spacer, you will need slightly longer bolts. <laughs> no, sorry, we got a guys. Look at that, guys. Like, not bad if I run, you know? Tried to do it neat. Even a little thing that doesn't get seen, guys. You want to do it neat. You don't want someone one day to see that and go, "Who's that dodgy cunt?" That's right, bro. Hold this or We've in. been waiting to do this. Let's have a bit of a look. You know, you're getting somewhere with the job when you can actually select gears. All right, I'm in. All right, you're in. <laughs> He's in. Right. No, fork, you're not going in, no. It's not going in. Just have a bit of a look at you guys. So the first thing you want to do is feel, actually the shifter feels a lot tighter now that we've taken all of the slop out of everything. Do the knob up, all right. First, second, third, fourth, reverse. Awesome. <laughs> so that's it, boys. That's it, bro. It was a, a little bit difficult. You had a little bit of um, perseverance. We had to muck around. All the hardware was missing from the linkages, guys. We had to improvise and make up all the washers and if spaces. If you're ever mucking around with the selector tags on the box and they seem a bit notchy, dirt can get stuck in behind them and it can make them stiff. Or if someone's had the box apart and there's no spring washer under the nut, and the nuts just done up tight on there, they'll still be loose, but they'll be so tight that the selector mechanism won't work inside the box. So under but where those tags are, there needs to be a spring washer and they need to be done up and they need to be tight. We'll show a little scene of the car up, but look how nice it shifts. Run through it again, bro, run through it again. This again. wasn't easy, guys. Nice yeah, and tight. No look diagrams, that. no That's reference. beautiful. The first thing our dad did whenever he hopped in an old manual XWXY was grab the shifter and feel how sloppy it is. That's actually pretty good. First, nyeh. Second, nyeh. Third, ra -ta 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 -ta. Fourth, fourth is just buttery, man. Fourth is just. Beautiful. Oh, I can just imagine doing that day eh? all day long. Do you reckon the customer will let us drive it, bro? Reverse, bro. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we got it, bro. Wait, I'll go through those gears again. Wait, hang on. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's good. Beautiful. All right, now let's do it without the sound effects. <laughs> do it let's, this, let's, so. do, let's do some footage we can use, bro. All right, usable footage. Let's go first gear. Second. Third. Fourth. Reverse. Beep, beep, beep. Nice, very nice. Beautiful. Awesome. Done. Let's get the steering column back in. What else did we learn, bro? Oh, heaps of things, bro. Uh, there's always a few, like, it never goes that smooth, Let's doesn't matter. Of, you know, show you oh, what, what did we learn, bro? we have done a cut this morning. He's actually not an XY extractor. And I knew straight away when we pulled it out, I saw that it was rubbing on the steering box. And if you go under the car, the black paint's rubbed off the side of the box. Now I mentioned it to the customer, he said he never heard any rattling, which is strange. And I noticed it was beaten here significantly to make it fit. So I thought, all right, it's a pacemaker. Normally the pacemakers are stamped on the flange. This no, one has a, like a number there, but it's not a, it's meant to be 40, 70, 40, 90, 40, 60. So I got on, did a bit of sleuthing on Google and I found that this is an XA onwards pipe with the bend there. The XY one, these two pipes are parallel at the back here. I'll get my phone out quickly and I'll show you a photo. Hey guys, nice that almost, you guys. almost nearly, made us get angry, but we didn't get angry. We just got really happy and well, kept we, going. We nearly got really oh, angry. No, I, got a little, <laughs> I got a little bit angry. I'm like it came out, how did it not go back in? All Obviously right, so that's the, the XA to XF and if you look at that, pipe on the driver's side at the back there see put that over like that the way that the picture is see that pipe here on an angle and these three tucked in together so that's xa to xf old eagle this eyes this listing here 
4090 on competition engines website with the correct picture on the driver's side you can see that the two the two pipes are actually it's just different guys you can level. see yeah the it's level way, there's it's no way there's tighter. no triangular gap here there's no big gap here this, so, this is so tied in this is actually the x r t w y 2 v 351 cleveland extractor ph 4090 ph 4080 is the xa what, on what this one is 